hello what's up youtube welcome back to the channel uh doctor who doctor who what the fuck are we gonna do well the 60th anniversary is coming up for doctor who and they are filming a 60th anniversary special for anyone who's interested and i can see straight away what the mindset is and what the plan is revealed that david tennant is going to make a return and so is um Catherine Tate. This is an article. Oh, hang on. This is an article from Screen Rant, so I don't know how reliable it is, but I'm going to get into it anyway and have a chat because I used to be a massive Doctor Who fan. I would sit every Saturday night with the kids on my knee and we'd watch Christopher Eccleston being chased around by shop dummies, being terrified. We watched David Tennant with Rose, which was a fantastic thread story. Catherine Tate turned up. Matt Smith, Amy Pond, all that good stuff. Brilliant. And then Jodie Whittaker made an appearance. And I've got nothing against Jodie Whittaker whatsoever. I think she's a, a decent actress, contrary to some popular beliefs. I've seen her. She starred with David Tennant in Broadchurch. I'm going to see if I can bring that up. Broadchurch. Well, I watched all three seasons and I thought it was an absolutely amazing drama. And it was written by Chris Chibnall, who wrote the... Series 13, Geordie Whittaker, Doctor Who. That is one big pile of shit. Broadchurch, you had David Tennant, you had, like, cream of the crop, Olivia Corman starring beside him. And Geordie Whittaker was in there. She was, um, she played the, the mother of, well, a young boy. Synopsis there. The murder of a young boy in a small coastal town brings a media frenzy which threatens to tear the community apart. Broadchurch, it was amazing. Geordie Whittaker was really good. I saw her in this one here, trust, trust me, sorry, a hard, it's, it's quite ironic, a hard working nurse who loses her job for whistleblowing is forced to take drastic measures to provide for her daughter. She ends up pretending to be a doctor. Now isn't that funny? Because she ended up pretending to be a doctor for three seasons. <sighs> anyway, enough bashing of her. I'm going to read this article just to see what you think. Like I say, the 60th anniversary is coming up. And I think they're going to throw as much shit at, at the wall as they possibly can just to see what sticks. Okay, let's go. David Tennant reveals new details from the set of Doctor Who's 60th anniversary special that could hint at the return of some other familiar faces. Jodie Whittaker currently controls the TARDIS as the 13th Doctor. A doctor of medicine? Well, medicine, science, engineering, candy floss, Lego. However, she is soon to take her leave with Chuty Gatwa from Sex, from Sex Education, next to take up the mantle for Doctor Who season 14. After Gatwa's announcement, it was revealed that Tennant and Catherine Tate are reappearing as the Doctor and Donna in the 60th anniversary special. And what do I think of that? I think that's just, it's going to be a load of clickbait. That's the best thing I can come up with. It's going to be full of... It's got to have nigh on all of the Doctors at some point, hasn't it? It's got to have Eccleston's got to be in there. Matt Smith's going to be in there. Capaldi's going to be in there. Jodie Whittaker's going to be in there. Because it should be a celebration of what's come before. 60 years of Doctor Who. And they had like, what was it? 55 years of Doctor Who. And then they changed the Doctor into a woman. Which I've got nothing against really. But I think, to be fair to Jodie Whittaker, she's took a lot of flack. But I think she had very, very poor scripts to work with and very poor direction. Any jokes? Yeah, that's right. My references to body and gender regeneration are all in jest. I watched the first episode of the first Jodie Whittaker season and I think I switched it off after about five or ten minutes because she was just, she was trying, it was as if she was trying to... Why are you calling me madam? Because you're a woman. Am I? Does it suit me? amalgamate Eccleston, Tennant and Matt Smith into some overly wacky, crazy doctor. Just too, too goofy for me. It was almost like watching CBBC, which is children's CBB, which is children's BBC in the UK. Oh, I'm waiting for the bus to take me on a surprise journey. It was so childish, it was unreal. So I couldn't watch it. I went back and tried to watch a couple of other episodes and 
that I could not get into it. It was the same with Capaldi. I watched a few episodes of Capaldi and I could not get into him. There was just nothing there that was grabbing my attention. I don't care. Liar. You always care. Like, see, I've got nothing against Geordie Whittaker. I just think it was poorly executed. If I was still a bloke, I could get on with the job and not have to waste time defending myself. As filming began, images and videos from the Doctor Who set started to surface, giving fans their first glimpse at the Doctor and Donna working together again. Other footage showed Neil Patrick Harris, Neil Patrick Harris's villain, toying with Tenor. This is the same Neil Patrick Harris, right, who is the, the, the upstanding pillar of the community, who ordered a cake for his birthday party. And the cake was a model of Amy Winehouse's corpse. Yeah, look it up online. It's absolutely horrifying. Uh, like, what kind of mindset says, I need a birthday cake, I'm gonna have a rotting corpse as a birthday cake, and then invite all my mates around for a slice? Fucking hell. This is, this is Hollywood for you. But anyway, he's playing a villain. Great. So he's toying with Tennant as they briefly dance together, fueling the theories that Harris will be reimagining the celestial toy maker from 1966. The Doctor Who crew was being coy with the plot and the character details, with returning showrunner Russell T. Davies teasing the endless possible reasons behind Tennant's Doctor and Donna's return. Endless possible reasons. The only reason you're putting them in is because the fucking... Jodie Whittaker just crashed and burned. She crashed the series into the floor. So you're going to bring back loads of familiar faces to drag the fans in again. It's exactly what you're doing. It's just clickbait. The viewership under the reign of uh, Chibnall and Whittaker just went through the floor as well. I'm pretty sure that... Uh, Doc, like Doctor Who throughout the years has done very well in the States in the USA and I don't think they uh, even bother with it anymore that's how badly it's it's turned out I'm sorry but no that, like make the Doctor a woman I don't care but like <laughs> give a proper direction just stop having all this crazy childish there's enough fans out there to keep the series going but you just turn people off with the way the direction that you took sorry anyway while at a fan expo in boston tenant reveals some new information about his upcoming return to doctor who and it was shared by some blogger on twitter Tennant teases that even with the many images and videos found from the set of the Doctor Who special, fans still do not know the whole story. The actor goes on to reveal that he and co-star Tate spent some time filming on a, on a closed set with many other people. I mean, that doesn't really tell us anything, but many other people could be anything. It's going to be like... Is gonna th they're going to throw as many doctors as they can get. Is Sylvester McCoy still alive? Peter Davidson's still alive. Tom Baker's still kicking around, I think. And obviously Eccleston, Tennant, Matt Smith, Peter Capaldi. I'd be very surprised if they didn't. So it could possibly see the return of some other familiar Doctor Who characters. Check out the post below. The post below just says exa exactly what I've just said. They filmed with many other... They filmed with many other people on a closed set. So they're trying to keep it under wraps for now but I, I reckon like a couple of months before it's released they're just going to go all out and just say look who we've got we've got all the doctors got all the characters I wonder if Bernard Cribbins blessing managed to uh, film anything he passed away oh that was tragedy he was uh, he's actually starred in two versions of Doctor Who because he was in the film with Peter Cushion in 1966 or something. I think it was the invasion of Earth. Daleks are the fastest on Earth. Daleks. I've just found out it was in 1966. Daleks invasion of Earth, 20, 2150, uh, and he played Tom Campbell. Go and check it out. It was with Peter Cushion as the Doctor. Anyway, ahead of its return, it's already known that Tennant and Tate 
aren't the only Doctor Who alum to feature in the 2023 special. Oh, with Bernard Cribbins, Wilfred, Jacqueline King, Sylvia, Carl Collins, Sean Temple, they're all returning. However, fans have been theorising about even more previous Doctor Who cast members set to appear. A video from the set in Bristol showed Tennant's Doctor and Donna exiting the, tar the TARDIS while discussing someone called Mel. Aha. Could it be Mel Bush? Ah, Mel Bush. The name may sound familiar to fans of Colin Baker and Sylvester McCoy's sixth and seventh doctors because Bonnie Langford's Mel Bush was a companion to both. Bonnie, Va Bonnie Fanford. Look at that. Bonnie Langford's still kicking about. I'm sure she is. She's not doing much. She'll, be, she'll, she'll agree to come and do some acting work. Mel is far from the only character fan, at fan anticipated. Pop. You mean fans? You, you need a spell check when you're writing these, these articles. Mr. Screen Rant. Mel is far from the only character fans anticipated popping back up. Plenty of theories surrounding Matt Smith, Peter Capaldi and Christopher Eccleston. 100% they're going to turn up because they're not doing much at the minute. Well, apart from Matt Smith being in House of the Dragon, uh, which is set to probably be one of the biggest TV shows of the decade. <laughs> it's doing very well, apparently. I haven't seen it. Never mind. They're reprising their roles. Although fans have been speculating about the return of classic Doctor Who characters, the 60th anniversary special may also see the introduction of some new cast. While Gatwa has confirmed that filming for Doctor Who season 14 will soon begin, many believe that he may be making an, an appearance in the 2023 special. Of course he will. Why wouldn't he? I don't know why he wouldn't. Bless him. Only time will tell who Tennant and Tate were filming the Doctor Who with the Doctor Who's 60th anniversary. It's clear that several characters, cast members are being kept secret, which will make for an exciting reveal. Indeed, it will. Uh, yeah, I think the, the 14th, 14th Doctor, Chuty Gatwa. I hope it's good. I really do hope it's good. I've, I actually feel sorry for Jodie Whittaker. She took a lot of shit. And she's just trying to do a job, but he just went around. It's just the whole thing was just done, just awful. And it didn't need to be. It doesn't need to be. So, Chute, you got what? Let's please bring something to the screen that we can relate to and get a grip on. We need some excitement, but just lay off the goofy shit. Because it will do you absolutely no favours. There's a lot of fans have left the franchise because of just the 13th Doctor. A lot of fans have left disappointed. A lot of them have said they'll never come back to Doctor Who. But I think we should give this guy a chance. Let me know what you think in the comments down below. Um, I think I'm quite looking forward to the 60th just because we know we're going to get a lot of familiar faces you've got to it goes without saying it's a 60th anniversary special and I think it might be pretty special let's keep our fingers crossed guys if there's any Doctor Who fans left out there uh, again just let me know in the comment section down below tell me what you think don't forget to subscribe because it's free. It doesn't cost you anything. And you can come here and we're going to have a little discussion about movies and TV shows and all that sort of shit. Anyway, I'm going to get myself away. I've got things to do. And I'll see you in the next video. Thank you for watching and I'll see you later.